Hi everybody and welcome to another config. Uh, I this this doesn't look good. Um somehow the quality is really bad. Just 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 stay with me. Stay with me. I get this. Just one moment. I get this. Uh yeah, there we are. Strange. And I already forgot what I want to say. Uh something with resolu Ah yeah, something with resolutions. Welcome to another Comfy UI video. And in today's video, we are going to do what I just did with my magic click. We try to improve the resolution of images. And it doesn't matter whether it's AI generated, AI edited images, Photoshop images, actual images, it doesn't matter. We will upscale the images. And why, as a creative, should you care? It's kind of simple because sometimes you create images or content in a low resolution space. Maybe because it's faster, maybe because you have limited resources on the computer. But then afterwards, if you want to go to print, yeah, to particular high print, like for example, advertisement posters or so, you need a higher resolution. So this is a very simple use case of generative AI, namely using generative AI and ConfUI to upscale images. Sounds like dark magic a little bit. Yes, but the world of upscalers is unfortunately a little bit more complex from a totally different perspective. So let's dive into ConfUI. Well, upscaling in ConfUI is fortunately not that difficult. What we are going to do is we will not create an AI generated image. We will use an actual image to make it even more simpler because the workflow I show you is something you can simply attach to the very end of every workflow. So before we start, we need a upscaler model. And for this, we go to the manager. We go again to the model manager. And now you can search, for example, for upscale. Yeah, so we have here a lot of different models. There are some caveats about this, and I will talk about this at the end of the video. So bear with me. Let's go here through one of the examples, and then later we will have a look what's the matter. For our case, I would suggest to download the real Azergan times four. We simply click on install. You see some magic going on in the in the background. And it's a very small model with only around 70 megabytes. We need now to also restart ConfUI, so refresh everything. We simply click here on this particular button. We go back and close, and then we can also close the lock. Now, what we need is we need to load an image. We will do this in a moment. And we will also load an upscaler, the upscaler model. And as you see, we already have here the model we just downloaded in our, let's say, suggestion part. Now we can, this is one of the tricks, you can simply draw a line from the upscaler model and already ConfUI suggests you what kind of nodes we could use. We have here the upscale image, and then we have the upscale model and also the image itself. And then afterwards, making the line here, and we want to review an image yeah or maybe also save the image yeah but it really doesn't matter we can just stick with the preview part and now we need an image to work with so i would say let's go simply to the internet and search for something so what i just downloaded is from wikipedia the sydney opera house you can download this image in different resolutions which is kind of nice because you can download it with the actual resolution, with a smaller resolution, or with a tiny resolution, upscale it and compare the differences to see if you see any differences or not at all. So this is pretty cool. We can now simply drag and drop it into our load image part. We see here the resolution, and now we click on run, and the upscaling magic is being done. Now we have here now our almost 5K image of our Sydney Opera House. The question though is, how can we compare it? We already see some artifacts. It really doesn't really good. Um, it is upscaled. The numbers say so. But how can we improve the or see where the differences are and what the potential caveats are? So let's see how we can do that. How can we do this? We go 
to our manager. We go to costume node manager and then we write down, now I have to think, is it image compare or compare images? I have to check it out. Image compare. It is image compared. Nice. We have here the node conf UI SS image compare. It has only one node, has around 33 stars on GitHub. We simply click here install and everything is installed in our conf UI um, environment. We click here on restart because this is what we need. You saw my folders and everything in the background, also my recording software. Well, this happens. And now Conf UI is restarting. Yeah, so after an in node installation, you need to re reinstall everything, uh, restart everything, but it really doesn't matter for now because um, the workflow remains. Our image is lost though. We make a double click here and then we search for compare. And there we have the SS image compare that we just downloaded. We click here on this picture. Let's delete the preview image. And then we have here our image that is upscaled. We put it to image B and our original to image A. What we can also do is we make a we can also return here yeah, the, 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 the images. We can output this, but really doesn't matter. We can also make a blend node. But I would say let's run this part here now. And it should display both parts side by side. So we have here again image, yeah, B is the upscaled one and A is the original one. And we have here a small slider and there we can see how it worked. So we have here, for example, the tessellation of the Sydney Opera House roof. And if we move the slider, we see a higher resolution, but it's a little bit almost artificial. It, the, the, the things have been removed. If we take a look, for example, at the clouds, it worked a little bit better. Maybe we have more textures in the clouds. But in this case, we are, for example, an architect. I don't care about the clouds. I care about my building and my building is a little bit messed up. That's not really cool, is it? So we can also take a look here down to the water where we see we have some granular things of the water and the water is now a little bit calmer. And this also looks a little bit slightly artificial. So the thing is with the upscaling here in this particular case is that it performed on particular objects quite well. But on the other hand, for some other parts, it did not really work well. And how can we tackle this issue? And for this, we go to another website. Now, here on OpenModelDB, we can find models because this is the, as they say, the best place to find AI upscaling models. Now, yeah, I don't know if this is the best place, but it's a very comprehensive place. There's a, there are a lot of models. And the good thing is we have here the text selector. So we can click here on advanced text selector, and then you can say, yeah, what kind of topic or subject is important to me? Maybe you're an architect, maybe you are um, I don't know, somebody working in the gaming industry or working with CGI or faces, you can simply click on these particular things and then search for the corresponding models. Now we can, for example, go to faces. What is the purpose, for example? Well, hmm, I don't know, maybe restoration. Yeah, and then we can go down and then we have here a set of different models, particularly working well for faces or facial features, like, for example, this one here. The good thing, though, is because you are maybe working in a commercial environment, is also to have a good license that allows you to do it. Because the world of AI models has is very complicated in regards of licenses. So, for example, we click here on commercial. I don't know if something has been filtered, but we can then yeah click, for example, here on this model. So we have here the difference between the, the faces. You can decide for yourself whether it would be worth a try or not. And then you see here, for example, the corresponding licenses. Like it's, it's okay for use for private use, commercial use, and so on. But for example, you have to give credits and there are no, there's no liability and no warranty. Now, and this is something you can then use, for example, um, and load this to the upscaling part of ConfUI. So you go to the documents, as I showed you last time, you search for the upscaler folder and the models part, and then you put the corresponding files into the folder and then you can select it accordingly.
You can also use it for uh, in the model download manager, but you have to be aware of the licenses. So if you're not sure whether these models you download from ConfUI are, yeah, correspond to a license you are um, comfortable with, for example, for commercial usage, then I can recommend you to go to openmodeldb.info and check the corresponding model. model. So that's all for today's session. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching today's video. And I would really like you to subscribe and also like our video and also give us feedback if you have any comments or ideas for improvements. So we try to make videos, ConfUI videos and also other content, especially for creatives like marketing agencies, architects and so on. So if you are from this particular domain and something is missing, something is too technical or you would like to get more details, just write us and support this uprising community. See you next time.